You know, when I was in fifth grade, I grew up in Florida, and um, my uh, science teacher applied for the teacher in space program that NASA was running. And of course, he didn't get it, but Christy McCullough did. It was 1986, and our class was out on the field. He brought everybody out to watch the launch. And like everybody, especially all the kids that were watching, we saw the Challenger explode. And for um, forever, you know, that stays, that stays with you, or it stays, stayed with me. And I always wondered who else died on that flight. And years later, I came to find out that there were four astronauts on that flight that were part of this historic class at NASA. And it was a class in 1978. And in that class, NASA hired its first female astronauts and its first, um, its first astronauts of color. And on that flight, you know, the, the first Jewish person, uh, the second woman uh, astronaut ever, the second ast uh, African-American astronaut, and the first Asian-American died on the Challenger. And I had never heard that story before. And it was just a story that stayed with me and I really wanted to tell it. Um, because they were this, it was this incredible class of firsts, and they were also the first class of space shuttle astronauts, and they were responsible, um, you know, for launching the space shuttle uh, all the way through the end of its career. With thirty years later, when they got to NASA in 1978, most of them are in their 20s and 30s. A lot of them are single. A lot of them act like they're single, even though they're not. And they were in this kind of summer camp environment. And they, um, they partied together, they traveled the country together, they went to NASA, all of NASA's um, uh, space centers, and they really got to know each other. And they weren't doing, you know, a lot of us, you know, they weren't, you know, in rowboats, they were in T-38s flying at the speed of sound. And it was this um, hyper competitive um, environment which, in which these people met. And, you know, because of that, they became friends, they became lovers, they became rivals, and they really started uh, and founded the space shuttle program. The best part about the project was getting to know the astronauts themselves. And these were people who took extraordinary risk, um, but they're also people. And um, they're people who, um, you know, had families and um, were afraid, honestly, and but overcame that fear in order to fly the shuttle. We um, interviewed dozens of people, over a hundred hours of, uh, of interviews to get their stories. And um, it's really inspiring, uh, especially now as we go move into an era of like commercial space flight and kind of NASA tries to find its way to the next big chapter, whether that's Mars or going back to the moon, um, to see these people who really created modern space travel. And modern space travel means that you don't have to be a military person. Um, you don't have to be a pilot to fly. You can be anybody. And now, of course, they're flying. You know, William Shatner and Wally and Wally Funk finally got to fly, and civilians are getting to fly, and poets are getting to fly, and Tom Cruise is getting to fly. But this was the beginning of all of that, and it was really fun to see that beginning and to talk to these people who are a living history of that.